Hello everybody, it's Talia from Motherhood The Real Deal and I'm here with Kim Rain, life coach and health guru and hopefully you will have seen our previous video all about meditation. Well now we are going to show you that it is not a total nightmare challenge to learn how to meditate. It's super simple and we are going to show you how to sit down and learn to meditate right now. So over to Kim. Um, well, I think it's really at the moment, I just want to get through to you guys how easy this can be because most people, when you talk about meditating, are like, right, okay, what do I need? You know, do I need robes? Do I need joss sticks? Do I need my house to be like, you know, a temple and I need complete peace and quiet and I need, you know, beautiful candles all around and that. Yeah, that would be lovely. And I have, you know, I do have a little spot in my home where I meditate. But if I'm honest, most of my meditation, this is how I do it. I wake up in the morning, um, I might grab a cup of tea that I'll have one or two sips of, um, like a herbal tea, and then my husband's usually left and I sit on my bed and I meditate cross-legged. And yeah, I meditate on my bed just before I go to sleep cross-legged. Yeah. Or sometimes legs in front of me if I feel like a change. Yeah. <laughs> The only thing I say, and you know, I meditate, I'm sitting like it now, I meditate cross leg because that's how I'm comfortable, but mm. you can meditate in a chair, you can meditate absolutely anywhere. The only thing I would say is you can do it lying down, but for me, I do it first thing in the morning and I have tried doing it lying down and I've woken up on the floor <laughs> 15, 20 minutes later <laughs> and not knowing what's going on. So, so that's how I do it. That's the first thing is, you know, you don't need any equipment. And then the other thing is there's, there's several ways of doing it and mostly what we want you to focus on at the moment is just getting into the habit of meditating mm. because I started off with um I think I started off with five minutes myself I had no idea how to do it nobody five showed minutes. me minutes that's good for a first go well I just decided and what I did was I just closed my eyes and do get my breathing going which we'll do in that when we do the uh, meditation and then I had a mantra in my head and yeah. I would just go over and over and over the mantra. And for me, it was following my heart, which was something I'd been talking to a friend about. And we were talking, and I, it came up for a reason. She was like, that needs to be your mantra. With clients now, I do, um, I am safe, all is well. Um, I am safe, I am calm is quite a good one if you are struggling with anxiety. Because here's the thing about meditation. It's like, it's a practice. So the more you do it, the more, like any muscle, the better you'll become at it. The more you mm. can you can actually tune into it when you need it. You know, when you are maybe at in the middle of a kid's birthday party and it's all overwhelming, there's a hundred and one things to do today. If you can find two minutes to go and sit on the loo. <laughs> I was gonna you say, can, lock yourself in the toilet. Yeah, you can actually come in the toilet, do some deep breath do it, deep breathing and just bring yourself back to your mantra. Mm. And you know, I've had um uh, I am safe, I am well, um, calm mind, happy heart is quite a nice oh, one Oh, that's to a nice with. one, yeah. Yeah, because ultimately that's what most people are kind of aiming to achieve. You want yeah. a calm mind, you want a happy heart, because if you've got those two things, everything else can kind of, you know, you can cope, you can cope. Yeah, I love, um, I do this at the end of the day, I, and it's, um, I move on and leave today behind, which is really great, especially if you've had yeah. a terrible day, you just need to forget about it and go to sleep and wake up and have a new day. And great and for safe. taking one day at a time. So, yeah. And I also, so um, Calm Mind Happy Heart would be one that I would start with. And then what happens to a lot of my clients is as we move along, they're like, oh, I've got my own mantra now. Because yeah. when you're meditating, something will come up for you. Something will come up that you need that message to be sent to you. Having said that, I now also, I can also meditate and and just meditate um, and and have no mantra or anything. But here's the thing: people think that when they meditate, they've got to stop all their thoughts. That's mm -hmm. not going to happen. <laughs> That's like saying you need to stop your lungs working. You need to stop your heart beating. You are not going to stop your thoughts from coming. They are going to come. The difference with meditation is that you're not responding to them. You're not reacting. Mm -hmm. They're like clouds going past in the sky. And you just notice them and they move on. Yeah. Um, because once I'd learned to meditate, I did then go and do some meditation courses. And I've actually got a day next month with a Buddha, with a with a Buddhist monk, which I'm really looking forward wow. to. Um, so it's just become something that I really love. So 
That's the main thing though, is you don't need to be impure, impure to stop all of your thoughts. Your thoughts are gonna come. The, the trick is not to react to the thoughts. Yeah, and don't struggle against them. It's like they're there, just let them be and don't yes. react to them. Yeah. yeah. Um, and starting off with the three minutes is great because it's gonna build the habit. Yeah. And I think that it will someday, and the other thing is it's not like weight loss or anything where you get a, where you get a product, where you get something for your efforts. You won't really notice it. And then all of a sudden, one day, something will happen and you'll go, oh my word. Usually I'd have reacted, yeah. da da da, and I totally aced that. You know, yeah, I'm cool totally. as a cucumber. And, sudden, and then, you, then, you, then you get it. The other thing as well these days, guys, is do it with your kids. You know, make it a game with your kids. Probably you need your own time to do it as well. But And then you want to try and work up to about 15 minutes. 15, 20 minutes is great. But that's not where you have to start. And if to three minutes is all you get, even if it's when you're sitting in a car waiting for the kids to come in, what you can do is you can do um, what we call rescue breaths. And these breaths actually turn off... Um, that whole fight or flight nervous system, put you into rest and digest. And so to do a rescue breath, you're gonna breathe in for four, nice four slow counts. You're gonna hold it for seven and breathe out for eight. Four, seven, eight. Four, seven, eight. eight. And you breathe in, you hold it, breathe out. And what you can do is you can do like five or six rounds of those waiting. I've done many a round of that waiting for foot, you know, in football car parks and um, places where I'm just waiting for my son to come out. It's just a chance. But if you practice it, you can tune in and top up throughout the day. Shall we just do that all together, the four, Shall seven, eight thing? Okay, let's do it now. Okay. So it's in for four, hold for seven, then out for eight. So what you're going to do is, I'm going to count you, but what I will say is everybody's lung capacity is different. So again, it's like training. Yeah. So you may find that my count is too, too slow for you. You do it at your own. The whole point is you breathe in, you hold it longer than you breathed in for, and you let it out for longer than you hold it, held it in for. Okay, right here on YouTube, <laughs> we're going to do it together. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay. So, nice deep breath. So, relax your shoulders, and you're going to breathe in for four, three, two, one, and hold six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, breathe in, three, two, one, hold, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and I want you to do two more at your own pace, so now you're counting. And so, oh. <laughs> hello world. Well, here's, wow. here's a little secret about that. It's really good for getting you to sleep. So if you wake yeah. up in the middle of the night, which we should do a whole nother video on, but if you wake up in the middle of the night, your mind's racing and you have practiced these and your body knows what to expect by, by doing them, it can really help you go to sleep. I just feel on a totally different planet now. <laughs> That's me done for today. <laughs> But anyway, so there you go. Now you've got some really good um, tools and tricks to get into meditation. And if you haven't already um, watched the one before, make sure you watch the video before because now in the follow-up video, um, and this is like a three, three to four part series on meditation, we are going to be actually doing a meditation video. So we're going to say goodbye for now. Um. And uh, yeah, um, and um, happy meditating. <laughs>